In this video, I'm going to give you a quick piece of advice on how to approach Cyberpunk 2077 to get the most out of the game. It's a little tip that I think has a profound effect on how you will end up feeling about the game. And that tip is, when using the map, use the dynamic filter. This may sound like the daftest tip you've ever heard in your life, and you know what? For some people, it may actually be. But I think for a lot of you, you will actually get a lot out of this. I know I did. It really changed the way I felt about progressing through this game. This dynamic filter was actually added in a later patch, quite long after the release. Before that, if you've played the game before that, you will probably remember stepping out into Watson for the first time and seeing a map that looked like this. It was just absolutely filled with icons, tons of things. And the problem is, every single thing it gets marked on the map and it's just competing for your attention. There are traders, there are drop-off points, there are fast travel points, there are random assaults that just have nothing but combat in them. There's just a ton of things that are, you know, an integral part of a game like this. All games have filler content. All RPGs have tons of content that you're supposed to discover organically between the main stuff, between the main quest or the big side quests. The problem with Cyberpunk was it just plonked all of those things on the map. And if you're anything like me, and I suspect a lot of you are, the sheer fact that there's something on the map makes you want to go and investigate. And this means you've got this urge very early on to investigate really minor stuff that has very little story to it and mostly combat and none of the really superb stuff that Cyberpunk actually offers. And this is made worse by the fact that a lot of the side quests are locked till you reach a certain point in the main quest. So when you first start the game, you've got one main quest, and I think you've got two side quests, and that's it. But you've got access to everything else in Watson. In fact, at the time, you even had access to every single gig. Now they roll out the gigs a little slower, which is a much better way of doing things. It just meant that of all the things on your map, there were only one or two points that actually had interesting storied content, and it was swamped by all the filler content. And honestly, that filler content did not need to actually be on the map. That's stuff you can discover organically. And that's the entire reason I recommend the dynamic filter. Essentially, once when you're zoomed out like this, it only shows you main quests and side quests. As you zoom in, it'll start showing you things like gigs or cyber psychos. These things are obviously not as important as the, as the main side jobs, but they're still pretty important. If you zoom in again, you start seeing things like tarot cards and so on. You keep zooming in and you begin to see more and more. You'll start seeing shops, the ripper docks, and, you know, a, a, an auto fixer terminal. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a new thing. The point is, the minutia only tends to show up as you start really zooming in. When you're looking at it initially, you get a better sense of what is important. When you first step out of your apartment, you will see immediately where the good stuff is, and you'll probably head to that. And if you do something on the way, that's okay, but you will have already tempered your expectations as well. You, you will know that you're doing some sort of side gig. Now, the one thing you may have noticed that's completely missing, no matter how much I zoom, are the assaults, the assaults in progress. The dynamic filter completely removes them unless you're close to one. If I was close to one now, if there was one over here, it would show up on the map. And the same is true for the minimap. When you get close enough to one, the minimap will flash and one will appear. This makes those assaults, those random combat encounters, feel were way more natural. It makes it feel like they just happened rather than they've been sat there waiting for several months while you've been goofing off with your cyberware. I mean, technically they still are the same things, but they feel better. And it's amazing how much of a difference that sort of feeling will make. 
So honestly, your first, if you're playing the game for the first time, you might see the dynamic filter and think, oh, loads of things are missing, and then you'll you'll switch to a custom filter. I mean, there are some others. There's like just jobs, just service points, and then you got custom, and you'll think, oh no, I should, I want to see all of them, and you'll put all of these on, and immediately you'll get swamped. I mean, it's it's okay to have this if you really want to get a feel for what's going on. But in general play, I highly recommend just going dynamic. This will help you focus on the good stuff Cyberpunk has to offer, while still, believe it or not, not missing the, the more minor stuff. I did an entire playthrough with the dynamic filter and nothing else, and by the end of the game, I had done every single side quest, Every single gig as well. I did every single gig. And believe it or not, I got something like about 70 to 75% of the assaults in progress. So I, I'd organically discovered a lot of the content without really having to scour the map. And of course, at the end, when I had very little else to do, I could then just go on to the, the, the custom filter and find them and just get them off my map if I wanted to. It sometimes helps to have a few left behind anyway, or at least it used to because you wanted to grind some skills. That may have changed. Anyway, that is basically it. I highly recommend leaving the filter on dynamic. It it makes a huge difference, or at least it, it did to me, on, on how I approached the game, or more importantly, how I felt about the content. It let me mentally see at a glance what was going to be really important storage stuff and what was going to be just a bit of fun for me to grind some experience on. Anyway, I hope this helped. Um, thank you for listening to me babble while staring at a map.